everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another card um, featuring my stamp set called Taco Fiesta. This is my million dollar sales achiever stamp set. Um, I designed it to be fun and silly and um, just a stamp set you could use for any occasion for any person. And I designed it because I love to use my Stampin' Blends and I wanted a stamp set that we could color with our Stampin' Blends and that's what we got. All right, this card features lots of our little characters and it features a die that's in the annual catalog called the Picture This Die. And we're gonna use that to cut these little windows, okay? Now the first thing we need to do is to make our stripes. I wanted my cards that use the Taco Fiesta stamp set to be bright and fun. Um, to me, that this stamp set seems like a party, so uh, you know, party would be bright and lively and fun. So here are the colors that I chose. We have Granny Apple Green, um, Sweet Sorbet, Melon Mambo, uh, Mango Melody, which I love, uh, Daffodil Delight, and then that's it. Then we start over with the same colors, okay? We're gonna glue these on diagonally across our card. So I'm gonna start in the middle. And I'm gonna just put some liquid glue on this Daffodil Delight half inch strip. All right, and I'm just gonna go from there. And you can put them as far apart or as close together as you want. I'm gonna kind of put them close together. And you want them to hang off the end because when it dries, we're gonna snip all of those little pieces off. Okay, melon mambo, and then we're just gonna need a little bit of a granny apple green right there in the corner. All right, now <laughs> that granny apple green is not gonna stick. Stay there, guy. Now let's start over. We've got, you know, I find I do better if I put the glue on the actual strip. Sometimes when I put it on the basic white, then it's not in the right place. All right, granny apple green. Melon Mambo. Um, what comes next? Mango Melody. And then I think all we have room for is one more Daffodil Delight. Right there. And I'm going to get it all over my table. Let's see if I can just do a little bit of it right there. All right. Now you're going to want to let that sit and dry you know, like five minutes. Then take your scissors or your trimmer and cut off all the ends so that it's even with your white cardstock. Then take your picture, this die, put that in the middle, run it through your cut and emboss machine, and this is what you end up with. A bright, fun, little kind of rainbow. It reminds me of that gum that we used to chew when we were kids. All right, so now we've got another piece of basic white that is the same size. I'm gonna lay this on top and this is gonna serve as the template for where I want my objects. And I want that bigger one up there in the corner. All right, I've got my images and you can use whatever images you want from the set to, that will fit. This pepper is gonna go right here in that one, okay? We've got a lime which can go right there. This is like playing that operation game where you don't want to touch the sides. So you got to be really careful. This one can go right there. That's a nacho chip. And then we've got a little tiny pepper right there. And I forgot to get out my avocado. What was I thinking? You can't forget the avocado when you're having Mexican food and he's gonna go right there. Now our taco, we're gonna stamp on a separate piece because we're gonna cut him out. So I've got a little scrap of basic white and I'll stamp him. Now I'm gonna remove that just so that I can have um, room to color all of these. All right, let's color our images. We're gonna start with our pepper and this is sweet sorbet because I use sweet sorbet cardstock in our, uh, on our stripes. So I wanna keep with those same colors. And I'm gonna color this in 
I like to use my bullet end of my um, marker, but it is totally, you know, preference. So play around, see which one you feel like you have better control with. I mostly use a bullet end, but as you'll see in a second, I also do like the brush end. Now I'm gonna take the brush end here of the dark, and I'm gonna add some color like that. Okay, and we'll just kind of blend that up like that. Now, while we're here, let's go ahead and do our little pepper. I'm not gonna add too much to the little pepper because he's so tiny. Now, our taco has these little ridges. And I think, you know, when I first got this stamp set and I started playing with it, I was thinking that was all lettuce in the taco, but you know what? I think it's tomatoes too. So add some tomatoes <laughs> to your taco. All right, now let's do our chip. I'm gonna start with light, so saffron. And I'm using the brush tip here because I'm not really worried about those nooks and crannies like I needed to worry about over here. Now I'm gonna get my dark and where you see those little dots, I'm just gonna kind of add some dark. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend all that together. We'll come back to the taco in a second. Let's get our light granny apple green. And I'm gonna color my lime completely granny apple green. Then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna go around the edge and color in those little segments there like that. Now, while I have my dark green out, I'm gonna very carefully go around the outside of my avocado. Sometimes when that space is real small, if you just kind of tap the color like that, it makes it a little bit easier. All right, take your light, granny apple green. Looks like I need to up my marker game. I've used them so much in the last couple of months that I need to get some new markers. I love them that much. That's how much I use them. All right, now soft suede light right there. Um, now I'm gonna come back with my light granny apple green and I'm gonna add in just a little bit of color. Now that is so tiny and up here it's pretty small too. So I just kinda like to tap that color in like that. All right. All right, so we've got those. One thing I wanna show you that's really fun is to take your wink of Stella and add some shimmer to the peppers and the lime. Now this stamp set has faces and you can add faces to your images. I decided to leave those just plain and we'll add an image to our little taco guy here in a minute. All right, I'm gonna start with So Saffron Light and I'm gonna color close to that edge and then I think I'm gonna switch over to my brush. The brush end will cover more space quickly, but I I use it so much that it, I don't know, it gets a little flimsy and I don't have that much control over it. So I don't like to use it when I need to get in close. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna add some color kind of around the corners, down the bottom and around like that. Then I'm gonna get my light and I'm gonna start blending that up, kind of like in a smiley face. Getting a little bit lighter as we get to the top. All right, now grab your light granny apple green, add some lettuce to your taco. There we go. Now, the fun part, the most fun part, the face. And the mustache face, I think, is just absolutely perfect for our taco. 
All right, now these don't have dice, so you're gonna need to go old school with your paper snips. And I think they're pretty easy to cut out. Just stay on the outside of that black line. I like to leave just a really thin white border. That way, if I make a mistake with my cutting, um, the eye really is only gonna see that black line. It's gonna, you know, they have to look real hard to see um, kind of a crooked white border. But if the, um, if the black line gets cut, then that's a little more obvious. All right, there we go. Now, let's bring this back over. And we've got our stripes. Add some dimensionals in there. And let's put that back on there right over our little guys. There we go. Now I have already embossed, heat embossed our spectacular sentiment. The stamp set has, has lots of funny sayings. Um, this one is probably my favorite, spectacular. <laughs> I embossed it with white craft ink, um, white embossing powder on basic black, and then cut it out with a banner die. We're gonna put that right across there, and then we're gonna put our main star right there. All right, now bring over your card base, and again, I'm gonna do some dimensionals. I like lots of dimension on my cards. And we're gonna center that right there. Whoops, let's see if I can get that right. There we go. And last but not least, I am gonna add some little black dots to kind of bring out that black there. And um, you can use these little dots or your matte black dot pack that has all black in it. Alrighty, and there you have it. Now I have several videos coming using the um, Taco Fiesta stamp set. Um, there are one or two already on YouTube. They'll, there will be more in the days to come. So please make sure to stop by and check it out and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.